the state governor Ayodele Fayoche on Tuesday stormed the EFCC office in Abuja. Among the personalities that accompanied Fayoche to EFCC office in Wuse too include the River State Governor Nisson Wike, former Minister of Aviation Femi Fani Kayode, rights activist Deji Adeyonju, and others. To, in line with my promise that I will be here on the 16th of October, and like I said to EFCC, they should wait, await my arrival. This morning they've been to my house, they've condoned up my street, which I feel personally is unnecessary, is unwarranted. When the man says he's coming, Nigerians should be given the benefit of the doubt. I have led Ikiti, and the, the best I could give, I've given. Therefore, every question, whatever they need to ask today, I uh, will uh, be able to respond. I believe that the EFCC should know as well. I fear when the intelligence report will have that it may be harmed. But then I just know that he came by himself to EFCC without anybody harassing him. So that's why I brought him here today. The international community and the whole world is watching what is going to happen here. What they're going to do today. who wore a customized t shirt branded with EFCC I am here, a pair of jeans, and a face cap went into the commission with a bag. Speaking at the EFCC premises, Fayoshe's lawyer and some of the sympathizers asked the commission not to abuse the rights of the former governor. It's a national movement. Nigerians are united that this government must come to an end legally, legitimately, yes. and constitutionally. We will not sit by and watch the main, the government in power silent opposition. The former Ekiti state governor is answering to allegations that he received about 1.3 billion naira from the Office of National Security Advisor through the then Minister of State for Defense, Senator Musiliu Abwanikoro. Basil Okafo, Court TV News, Abuja.